The Dallas ISD Police Department says a recent shooting at Wilmer Hutchins High School could have been prevented if safety protocols had been followed. Yeah, Fox 4's Dan Godwin live this morning with the details. Dan. And Brandon, ever since the shooting here earlier this month, the question's been out there. Given the security measures in place, how could a firearm have possibly been brought inside the main school building? The district's chief of police is offering an explanation. Chief Albert Martinez says protocols were not followed on Friday, April 12th. The suspect, 17-year-old Jacarian Rhodes Ewing, arrived to campus late. He had a weapon that triggered the metal detector, but no one stopped him or checked his bag. Police say he shot another student in a classroom. That student survived and Rhodes was arrested. Chief Martinez says the metal detector was working fine that day, but what we're talking about here is human error. Our protocols were not being strictly followed as they should have been. We could have prevented this. Had our protocols been strictly followed and had we main, been maintaining that as if it was the first day of school, which I know is hard, but we can't get complacent. In safety, you can't get complacent. Chief Martinez says in the wake of what happened on the 12th, school personnel in the district are undergoing retraining on the policies and procedures for metal detectors and bag checks. And the chief says any detectors that were not operating at 100% have already been removed from schools. Reporting live outside Wilmer Hutchins High, Dan Godwin on Good Day.